Now, there's always one archetype in the Pokemon TCG that is often overlooked, and that is spread decks, because, well, right now, it's just something people overlook. But that leaves a spot to take advantage, as today we're going to be exploring the brand new Raichu. Okay, it's kind of more of a Miss Magius deck, but it plays Raichu, okay? Bear with me. Miss Magius is pretty much the best spread attack attacker out there because it does two damage counters across the board and his damage counters, meaning Manaphy doesn't prevent it, except I don't know if Rabaska does, but we'll find out if we come across it. And with pinging that damage down with Eerie Voice, Raichu can come in, use its collateral bolt attack to do 50 damage to every Pokemon that has that damage on it. And yes, I know there's already an Electifier that basically does the same thing, but let me just go with it, okay? I absolutely love playing spread decks and it's really fun to catch the opponent off guard when it comes to it. We're just gonna hope we don't run into some Iron Hands, because that could be problematic. But with the additional gas that comes in with the likes of Prime Capture and Erica's Invitation, a new addition to this deck, hopefully we can navigate those matchups against the hands a little bit better. But ultimately, it's all about the right shoes. so let's get into some games and see if we can take some big multi prize turns with this card. And a quick shout out to our sponsors, PDCGL Store, where you can buy codes to bling out your decks using code FDW for 5% off and what's not. But you can buy and sell collectible Pokemon cards live. And they're even giving you 10 pound off your first purchase using my special link. Links to all sponsors are in the description below, but for now, let's get going. <laughs> of course, we start both Pikachu and we need them the least. <laughs> You're my late game, boys. What are you doing out now? Anyway, let's see what we've got here. That was a weird glitch. Uh, we got... Uh, uh, I, I don't know how I feel about this, actually. I don't know why my game's bugging there. I kind of am in a bit too minds right here because it really depends if this Gardevoir is effectively playing Cresselia, which it seems to opt out of doing recently. Also, I think I'm going to get rid of a Actually, we'll get rid of Reversal and a Catcher, I think, to get a Bidoof down, I think. I think I've got a prioritized setup. I'll also get a Pikachu down. I don't need to bench that just yet, do I? So I'll just turn my turn. Yeah, so Gardevoir was actually, when I last played a spread deck, was the worst matchup because they could just Cresselia every single time you go for the Eerie Voice, just removing basically most, if not all, of that damage that you did that turn. But with Gardevoir now opting out playing Cresselia, going into the Balloons, um, and going into the, the, the screen tails, then uh, for some reason, you're just not seeing it play. Uh, I think Cresselia might find its way back because Lost Zone Box is looking very strong and Cresselia is the card to counter the Sableye. So I think Cresselia should effectively, uh, unless I'm misinterpreting it a lot and I might be, I don't play Gardevoir, but Gardevoir players, let me know. Like, is there a reason why you're not keeping the Cresselia in there? Because it was in Gardevoir beforehand. What changed? You still have Psychic Pokemon. I guess, I guess that, oh, I guess the reason why, if I think about it now, is the whole idea of Screamtail and the Balloon is the damage counters, and the Cresselia removes damage counters, basically making it a bad, bad situation for your tails and stuff. So I guess it makes sense in that regard, but then I'm sure if there was a time where you really needed Cresselia, you would be happy to do that anyway, no? Because you're still running to Sableye very badly, naturally. And then maybe they just give up on the matchup. So much going on, I don't know anymore. Right, let's go to Pikachu, go for a barrel. Uh, this is what I want, just straight setup play. Really what we're looking for. Gonna be going for the Manaphy, I think. That tail could definitely be a nuisance, so... Gonna get Manaphy down. First off, go for an incisors. See if we can get some stuff here. Not nothing, actually, basically. And, and that's it. I can do this and just get myself a Miss Magius. Hopefully get an energy and a switch. That's what we're looking for. I'm not gonna rod just yet, though. Yeah, I'm not gonna rod. I'd rather save that for Pikachus and stuff when they go down. Uh, oh, ah, ah, blood going in it all. Okay, switch into Miss Magius. That's really cool. Funny enough, though, we actually do lean into the screen tail. That is also hilarious. But uh, either way, let's go for the reverse. Yeah, yeah, hitting the screen tail actually amplifies it, meaning it doesn't actually need to worry about charging up. It just needs to basically attach and eventually it will KO me. But they can't hit the bench, meaning they're going to have to take the spiteful magic for the eight damage counters, which is a very big deal because most of the times it's going to knock it out in return. So that also is a really cool interaction that I think we can manage. There's Manaphy, but uh, we just need to basically, once this Miss Magius goes to, oh, maybe I shouldn't have mentioned Pikachu. Yeah, I need to get Alakazam down. Alakazam's really good at dealing with the Manaphy because you just keep going for Eerie Voice and moving damage counters with the Alakazam, effectively just letting you take out Manaphy quickly. But I, I think now we're going to have to effectively, because I'm overbenched because I'm a dum-dum, going to have to effectively chain Miss Magius's pretty much the end of the game for this situation. We do also have TME Devolution, so it's not just, you know, go for try and spread and get the, the, the finishing swing with Raichu. It's more so just spread, take out the basics, and devolve the evolutions. That's what we want to do. Raichu effectively will amplify that process. Although in this game, I don't think we're going to see it as much now because of that Manaphy coming through and me not having space for Alakazam to, to manage that. Yeah, that does suck a little bit. But there's a Puffin. They're just going to... Actually, that said, the more the Miss Magia stays alive, the better. 
because they're just going to go for TM Evolution here. So what we're aiming for right now is the 80 damage mark. If we hit the 80 damage mark, we can TM Devolve um, on both of these and take out the Curliers. So it's fine. Gardevoir is not a threat in the slightest here. Either way, let's go for that play. And I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to, I mean, I don't know. All these cards are just bad. Granted, it gives them a better hand, but... They've got refinement. They're going to get the hand anyway. So there's the Alakazam. Erika's invitation is quite fun. But this is the kind of matchup where I think Erika's not going to be that good. That said, could get into a situation, right, where they have older energy in play or whatever. And we can trap a, a Greninja. That's a, a real play. But that's definitely much, much more late game. And the thing I like about reverse energy as well, I never originally played it with Miss Magius. But it kind of makes sense, right? Because if you think about it, reversals online when you're behind on prizes and... I was kind of worried about the Raichu attack cost and the, the eerie voice just being different, but Reversal really stitches it together because the moment you're behind on prizes, it's online. It's a, it's a rainbow energy for everything, so that's quite nice. And it's very rare that you go ahead of prizes, so it is it is nice and synergetic. If way they go for the Guard of War, we still need a lot of turns here, actually, now that I think about it, so there's a lot going on. Need to get a couple of turns of just trapping something in the active. Judge, counter catcher, that's really what we want. But it's just going to go into... Ooh, I don't know about the Psychic Embrace there, Madonna. You're only helping the ting. You know what I mean? Yeah, this is mad. This is mad. <laughs> That's gonna... He just... Did you put yourself to 80? All right, cool. So now I just gotta get this to 80. TM Devolution, and they've got no attackers left. Sweet. Well, they could also get another ropes down, but... Maybe then I try and lean towards the... Oh, no, I still can't bench Alakazam, man. I need I need, I need, need a Pikachu to go down, bro. In before, they KO a Raichu. They won't do that. There's no way. They get the Hero's Cape. Actually, that does matter because my Devolution is going to be less effective on the Curlier now. That's a bit of a nuisance. Bloody Hero's Cape. Of course, God of Our Hero's Cape. But that said, the, the Spiteful Magic will actually come in and help with that anyway. Oh, yeah. That's perfect. That's, that's incredible. That means... <laughs> this God of is going to literally be... Perfect for the evolution next turn. Yeah, that's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. In fact, what I might do eventually... Oh, yeah, the prime. What I might do eventually as well is actually uh, attack reversal here and use that for TM evolution. That way it forces the right to KO, which will allow me to bench Alakazam, you know? So we're just going to Artisan as a plane fly vote. Flies up. You probably won't hear the plane. It's fine. My audio is impeccable. Do I go for the... I think the judge prime catcher seems good, right? I don't like losing my switch, but it's, it's kind of worth it in my opinion. Let's go like this here. And again, if we're behind on prizes, the, 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 bar the barrel can retreat with reversal as well. So reversal having a lot of use cases here. I quite like it. So let's, I think I'll judge first this time around. Yeah, let's do that. We're going to now just dig for devolution a little bit more. Yeah, not too great on the hand side of things, but we move. Uh, yeah, <laughs> just poffins. <laughs> All right, uh, eerie voice. Let's go for that. Not long now until the Manaphy goes, but I like the fact that I've got Miss Magius and Psychic. So if they do pull off a retreat here, I can just keep going with Miss Magius, which is what we want, right? The Ultra Ball here. Get rid of a Nest Ball and a Charm actually. That's weird. You'd kind of want the charm, but I guess... Oh, they get Gallade. Okay, yeah, that's fine. They're like... So they, they seem to be very caught up in not getting KO'd by spread that they're just trying to evolve as quickly as possible, which is actually probably the best bet, but Iono? Oh, I, no, it brings it to six. I was like, why are they getting rid of Iono? Of course they don't need to do that. They also can Gallade and actually just get any support that they want, which is also very interesting. This card of ours is just going to KO itself if it keeps hitting my spiteful magic. That's very funny. They just they choose to not evolve into Gallade. Interesting. Even though Hand Disruption is clearly in my deck, so it's a bit of a strange decision. Either way, I need some rods now. I need some rods. I need to recover some of my Miss Magiuses because I have prized the basics, so I need to do that. So we need to find some rod. Arvin will get me there. Exactly that. That's perfect. Arvin would also get me the gust. <laughs> But I think I'm also going to fail these Poffins because I don't need them now. Yeah, I'm going to fail them. And that just gives me more to draw. So I think I'm going to Arvin now and just get a Rod instead. Could get the Devolution now as well. There's no harm in it, really. I do need one more turn of Devolution. That said, if I got Alakazam down now, then I could do that. But I think I just keep 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 it moving. Yeah, I think I just keep it moving. Can always just Devolution next turn anyway after this. So it's not the end. So we get this Magius. Sorry, Mischievous down. Let's go for an Incisors. <laughs> It's just energy. <laughs> what the hell? All right, let's go for an eerie voice. And now they're going to need to disrupt my hand because I'm about to... Oh, I don't even need to devolution. I just KO the Curlia. <laughs> oh, I completely forgot. Next turn, we literally KO the Manaphy and Screamtail. So I can just come with right you anyway. We are dominating here. Literally, bro. If they just KO Miss Magius, then I can get Alakazam down and then just take out Manaphy and go for right you instead, KOing both Greninja and Screamtail. Oh my God. Oh my God. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. That's another 80 damage down. Can I KO this? Oh my God. Are you serious? I'm about to win the game, guy. What? <laughs> I need, I need literally one card. I need an, I need an Alakazam now. Top deck, no. Oh god. Okay, okay. This is serious business, people. Serious business. I'm even gonna attach my, my TM Devo down. Oh god, it's two, it's one card off the barrel. Please. Oh god. No, that was it. That was the turn. But alas. 
We have failed. Oh, man. What? We, I think we still get the win here. Ultimately, we just take out uh, the Screamtail and the Manaphy, and then we can just go for a Devolution. Or I could Devolution now, to be fair. And that does leave them with literally nothing. So I think Devolution makes more sense. Yeah, Devolution makes a lot more sense. All right, let's go for an Artisan. Don't think I will bench anything. I could bench Jirachi, but I think I think I just go for a Devolution here. In fact, I am going to bring up Greninja and then just hit him with that. But bro, that was literally a full price turn. And the one card that would have got us, it missed it, unfortunately. The reason why is because I couldn't KO the Manaphy without moving damage onto it. So we have to go for a devolution. But hey, next turn, if we if we get it, that's another GG. Man, I love the fact that the devolution's in here. But I want the Raichu, bro. I want the Raichu to come in and just sweep, you know? It's just a shame. A Squibbit would be amazing right now, too. That's a, that, that's a bench issue as well. They are going to start recovering. It's definitely not over. We know that. And I can't believe I won the game and just missed it by one card, man. Such a shame. I could also actually Electro Ball. Maybe I should have done that. I can Electro Ball the Manaphy, right? That might have been the play as well, actually. Yeah, maybe that was it. Right, I think I, I, think I, I could could still electro ball because I'm technically behind on prizes. Blood hit the Oh my god, how dare you come back like this? That is terrible, terrible play. Um, I could also gust this up because they can't actually attach to it properly. For God's sake, man. What's it? All because of an Alex. I swear it's the top deck. Ah, oh, it's not the top deck. Also, I think now I gust the screen tail and then I judge. Yeah, I need to I need to judge. Alakazam, please, just give me a chance to take a multi-prize turn here. Jesus Christ, this deck doesn't want to give me what I need, lad. It don't want to happen. Okay, well, if, we, if we're, we're in for a longer rise, then I might as well just get another Miss Magius line back and just keep going with that for the time being. Gonna attach it to Manaphy for Pivot, and then I'm just gonna go for incisors. Ah, uh, oh, there it is, finally. All right, sweet. So now we can finally do the combo, which is a bit of a pain because they've got two Curlias out, so it's not the end now, where it would have been the end otherwise. Well, let's let's take that out here, and now I kind of want to put some damage on the... On the, on the Earlier, you know, but it is what it is. Let's go for a. Oh, I turned reversal off. Oh, I'm stupid. All right, it's fine. It's okay. I'm just dumb. I just completely realized. I yeah. I, I only could have done that play last turn. Oh, that kind of sucks. But then again, Manaphy's gone. They could recover it again, and that'd be a nuisance. But as it stands, Raichu can then come in for the late game to, to finish it off. Also, there's still TM Devolution. So, yeah, a bit awkward. Can't lie, because I misplayed that. <laughs> but literally, that one turn, I'm so, I can't let go of it, man. That was game. Oh, and I just needed one card. All right, let's see what they do. There's an Arvin. Bro, this is where I wish I played like a random Slowbro or something, you know? <laughs> it's going to go down to that. They take, they have one prize left, and I have two to take. It really is going to go down to that. I effectively just need to get 80 on these two and then find evolution and then that would win me the game um and they are recovering manaphy as well so it is not looking fantastic they are going to bring up my manaphy too they can steal cards here they kind of don't want weirdly really enough why did they bring up my manaphy i'm a bit conf uh, confused oh because they, they want to work to a screen tell again don't they and then just take out my barrel and stuff okay so let's say why bring up the manaphy if i've got the pivot um i'm assuming i'm anticipating a ko this turn oh yeah they did evolution didn't they so they can't just evolve to guard and just ko my manaphy outright but then if they do that wouldn't that be a problem? I don't know, man. A lot to take into account here. And they go for an Arson and get a Manaphy down. They did take a while to Arson there, so they're probably just looking through their options. But if they could just pass here, that would be so nice because I can get another swing of Spiteful Magic, sort of the Eerie Voice. Now, there's a Guard of War, so they are going to be able to do something at least. So what do I do here then? Do I just try and move damage counters off of the Alakazam? Are they going to attack the Guardi? That's going to be a good thing, by the way, because it actually helps my strategy. So if I just try and get another TM Devolution, I basically just need to move damage off the Radiant Greninja of Alakazam. Just keep get this Curlia basically up to that. Actually, to be fair, I can just do the, I can, I can devolve to the rolls, right? So get it to 70, which after one turn will do it. And then I can just devolve this guard of ours. So we still have a strat. It's just like hyper awkward. That's all. Also, Iona's going to come in really nicely for us too. But I like the fact that I actually have, I need to get these poffins out of the way, man. I need them gone. They're getting on my nerves. Just, just get out of here. All right. Get out of here. We still have a couple of Miss Magius left, some energy, TM Devo. So the, the, the strat's still there. The play lives on. I am going to start thinning out a little bit now. Just get rid of just cards in general. That's it. I might have needed that. But do you know what? I'm just going to roll with it. Guarantee I misplayed greatly there by doing that. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so funny if it was the case. Oh, and Erica. Hello, you go. You'll you, you do, you do for me. There's an incisors, and that's literally what I was looking for. So let's go for an energy on the... Actually, do I put an energy on anything that might need a retreat? I am worried about a, a boss play, but is it just too late for that? I think maybe. All right, Painful Spoons. I could just KO Greninja, actually, right now. Yeah, that might be better. KO Gr Move 10 off to the Greninja, KO that, and then just go for a devolution for game, right? Yeah, that sounds to be. that sounds to make more sense. It just makes... It just speeds up the process. Okay. Okay, that's fine. So then I actually don't need anything. I need to like ultra thin my deck out. So I literally just TM devolution. That's the only way to win. Unless they Turo. Turo could be a nuisance. All right. There's still the threat of Turo. So 
I'm just going to go for this now. Let the Greninja go down. And then effectively try and get that TM devolution for game. Let's see, man. I don't know down. They only have one refinement. Should have won this game ages ago, but unfortunately just didn't draw the card we needed for it. And they go for a counter catcher. That's going to do literally nothing, by the way. We just need literally another situation right now. Oh, they could actually go for a scream tail, but again, that still won't do anything. They can't take two prizes with it, so that's fine. Yeah, that's that's perfectly fine. That's actually fine. In fact, if they like bring it up to a high enough damage output, then we just we hopefully should be able to just KO it with something like a Raichu, but then again, we're not behind on prizes. Yeah, I'm just trying to run through my head all of the situations that can happen here. What supporters are they bringing back? Maybe they are they bringing back Iono. Not a big deal. Oh, I see what they're trying to do. They're trying to work to a scream tail, take out the barrel Iono, right? Or oh, they could take out the barrel now. Oh, that would be bad. Oh no, for God's sake, man! Why does God always find a way? I'm so annoyed. One card from winning, and and now I might lose this game because of that one. Ah, oh, it's just so painful. Yeah, they're gonna take out the barrel. Obviously, they're gonna take out the barrel, which means I should have attached to the Alakazam, right? Because if I attach to the Alakazam, then if they gusted up the barrel, they would have just KO'd it then. Yeah, I should have attached to Alakazam. That's the flaw. That's why I went. Wrong. Okay. Understand it. Understood it. Understood. Understood it. And I think that's GG. You know. I actually do think that's GG. That sucks. Erica. Anything? No. That's that's. I could have. I could have won this game so easily. Unfortunately, I cannot see a win con at all. Ah, oh, man. That really sucks. That really sucks. After all of that work, losing off such fine margins. Right. Not only not getting the Alakazam on the turn where we would have won the game. So then, obviously, that was misplays I made on part of my part. Like, right now, even having a counter catcher, which I discarded earlier, could have won me the game. Uh, <laughs> there's me calling it. Uh, uh, literally, one damage counter difference on this to take one prizes. There are so many fine margins where I didn't win the game. My opponent is the luckiest person ever because I am just an idiot. <laughs> that was super winnable. More winnable than, I think, any game I've had in a long time. Just so many chances and just the... Oh, God. All right. You, you could see, by the way, why I don't compete. That, that that's it right i don't have the ability to have foresight like that i am not a psychic type pokemon regardless here's what we have here we are going second which is a bit on the unfortunate side but that's all right see what we're playing against there's a puffin coming down if it's a zard we can definitely have a good run here you know it's okay that's actually still pretty all right if i think about it let's get manaphy down to prevent uh greninja doing any shenanigans but the gem pal i actually kind of vibe with a little bit i think that's something we can also do there is also the lightning weakness that's no is there any no there's the, uh, even the back's caliber's weak to, to to metal right yeah yeah, so there's no there's no lightning weakness to try and take advantage of here. If wait, poker stop, and it's a perfect poker stop. Look at that. Here's the hoping judge can kind of slow things down a little bit, you know. But the one great thing about Gem Pao, they don't play a mana theme. So we ain't gotta worry nothing when it comes to the uh the, the cheeky Raichu, that is. There's a pass though. Let's see what we can do here. And it's a judge. Just straightforward. I think I I need to set up more. So I'm gonna Iono not judge, because judge is just gonna be I'm gonna draw a dead hand and then lose. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna draw a dead hand anyway. Oh, what the hell, bro? <laughs> Come on, sort your life out. I, I'm I'm not going to poke stop. I get punished too much by that. Let's go for an artisan. And I think I'm actually just going to get another mischievous, you know, because uh, I, I I need to make sure I can attack next turn at least. And then, then I have to work on my consistency with the barrel and all that. They could also just Greninja me for game here, by the way. There's that problem. Why am I just getting... There's Greninja. Why am I just getting bad luck? Why, like, I, I played a guard of our game. I could have definitely made it work, but lost because of fine margins, drawing the wrong cards at the wrong time, then getting the right cards at the right time. They did outplay me 100%. But why now? I'm like, bro, I set up so much so often and then you just give me this crap. Oh, Oh, I don't get it. Right, there's the Bidoof. Have they got it already? They treat, did they retreat to... Okay, I'm about to say, if they retreat to Greninja, that says it all. Um, but no, they haven't got it just yet. But this is, this is, this is dangerous stuff, because every single turn of not doing spread damage, it just it, it, it really increases their odds of getting a win, because they it, it's effectively a race, right? Let me spread as much damage as I can right now, and then hit that TM Devo, or go for the ride shooter to amplify it and then win in that way. But no. Okay, thankfully, they're not getting what seems to be enough to pull off the Greninja play or even get a Bax Calibre out. So that's nice. They do Nest Ball as well. Obviously, they don't play Manaphy, so you'd probably just get, what, another Chen Pao? Yeah, there you go. Hopefully, this is an attached pass. That's what I'm hoping for here. There's an Ultra Ball. Oh, that's not very convincing. Get rid of two Poffins. I wish I had some of them in my hand. Yeah, there's Bax. Okay, they're going to have Chen Pao KO, and that's going to put a lot of pressure on me right now. Unless they don't have it, and they're just getting it in hand. So, okay, they're trying a poker stop for the rare candy next turn. Understood. There's the barrel. That's wonderful. That means then I'm going to have to just take a turn of doing nothing, unfortunately, and just kind of chill a little bit, you know? Could maybe give them a Jirachi. Actually, I could Jirachi and Stella Veil. No, I need to get Manaphy, right? I need to get Manaphy down. So we'll get Manaphy and I'll just have to attach here and then just let them have the KO on the Mischievous. I could also poker stop, but the odds of me hitting something good, I mean, could lose some supporter cards, could lose... Do you know what? It, it might be worth the risk. Let's try it out. An ultra ball is what we're looking... Yep, there you go. <laughs> 
<laughs> it might be worth the risk, he said. <laughs> That's definitely a rod play next turn for sure. All right. Well, look, we have some counter catchers and stuff like that. That said, it really is no biggie for Bat's Caliber counter catcher because they just retreat so often. But, uh, you know, just sticking up a barrel from time to time could really do some to do some dirt. Also, what's really nice just on top is they don't have the 70 HP for Jabax. They have the 60, meaning we only need three eerie voices to then Devo to then take out the Baxes. So that's good. Now, also, they can counterplay me by just attaching all the energy in play beforehand, right? So if they're smart enough, they will do that. And I think they will. We are in the Master League after all. And in that situation, we just have to kind of just get to a point of just dealing enough damage to win, right? That's kind of what we're looking for. And that's when the Raichu comes in. So let's see how it pans out. It's going to be another long one, I think. Especially with a hand that's as bricked up as this one. This hand is so bricked up. I might have to burn my catches just for the sake of actually getting some uh, getting some stuff, you know? Either way, there's a superior energy retrieval. Get rid of Bit Barrel and another Frigid Bat. And they recover their energy there. Also going to watch out for the hands. Thank God they didn't bench that. I'm surprised. And they must have prized it then, right? There's no way they don't bench hands here. Because otherwise, that's just that's just rough for me. But uh, <laughs> seems like that's a bit lucky. That said, they could take hands from the prizes here as well. But they are doing what I thought. And they are just kind of uh, attaching ahead of time. So our best counter strat, it's looking pretty gloomy. But our best counter strat is literally just try and get a Bit Barrel and judge them, basically. That's, it's, it's, it, you'd be surprised how powerful that is, man. It's the reason why Arcus is so good. Just simple judges. Hand Disruption can be so, so impactful. Um, but yeah, let's let's see what happens. There's the 120. And a bit of a shame. Bit of a shame we had a slow setup. But my opponent also had a bit of a slow one as well. So I think we're both just a bit slow. Either way. Ultra Ball. Okay. Hand thinner. That's nice. I definitely am going to rod here and just recover the line. Like so. Then I'm going to counter catch out a bit barrel. Ultra Ball. These two away. Get myself a Raichu. Actually, I did just Ultra Ball away in reversal. Uh, but get, I need the Devolution, man. That's going to be my strong suit. So get the Raichu and then go for incisors. Really need something here, man. Okay. Okay. All right. It's not great, but I'll take it. Just, get, just give me all my items now, apparently. And we go for an eerie voice. If we could pull off a Raichu next turn, the counter catcher play just really pops up. I'm also like super tempted to just get rid of this rod and just get another Pikachu down. You know what I mean? Or another bit barrel just for maybe I do that. Yeah, I think I think I'm going to struggle, man, if I don't. So let me actually get another Bidoof down. I, I don't want any weaknesses here. That said, if I put a Bidoof down, what am I going to do? Nothing. <laughs> right, let's just do every voice. And now the Raichu is really going to come in and just speed up this process. So long as we get that reversal, which I know I just discarded. But the, the devolution, man, you got to have your devolution. You wait, there's a concealed card. I completely forgot as well. The devolution also will KO the Bit Barrel with one Raichu swing. After the, the, yeah, if we get the Raichu, we are cooking, my guy. That's wild. That is so wild. Maybe I should have held the hand then because I did have the play in hand, right? I could have Ultra Ball. Sorry, just held the Ultra Ball and then Ultra Ball reversal right you but i was just oh yeah no yeah i've done it wrong haven't i yeah i was so worried about my barrel getting ko'd that i completely forgot i just had the play and even the follow-up right as long as i got an energy after that yeah yeah i'm thinking now and i think i think i threw a little bit that's gonna be the theme of today sean fro either way is what it is we gotta move I, I am so playing myself and some of you are gonna be so mad at me but i don't care i'm just making it harder i'm just nerfing myself if you really think about it anyway they should be chill and fail it they hailblade watch me get nothing I, i'm gonna get nothing i could feel it like it's just I could just, I just sense that I'm going to get absolute crap off this draw. I can tell. Oh, it's just, it's, it's, it's been the theme so far today. So I, I yeah, I, I'm not, I'm not going to be too happy here, but let's, let's see. We'll promote the Pidgey, uh, Pidgey. Yes, promote the Pidgey. That's a very good looking Pidgey. And it's, it's an Alakazam. Fine. Give me that. I'm going to go for an incisors. You ready? It is trash. Okay. Not, not trash, trash, is it? It's not terrible. Um, I just get another Pikachu down and I'm just going to go for Iono. Iono can help a lot. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's pull it off. Let's pull it off, see if we get the ride to, and we don't, unfortunately. In fact, we get kind of just crap. Okay, we just, that's even worse. All right, well, we're going to move damage onto this. Uh, maybe I do, yeah, I do, I do the back caliber. I'm going to switch into Bidoof here. Bit of a shame I couldn't get a swing in on anything right now, but this is not looking great. I'll be honest, the hand is bad. I told you I'd get trashed. The, the, the game, I know the game too well now. It just wants to ruin my day. Either way, there's a poker stop getting themselves a counter catch, which they can't use, but they do get Cypher Maniac. Oh, no, no, they got rid of Cypher Maniac, didn't they? Yeah, what am I waffling about? There's a superior energy retrieval. Get rid of a counter catcher and a vessel. Getting some energy back now. Go for a super cold. I think this turn, I attach a devolution, even if I don't know if I'm going to get it, because I could still devolution the, the bat's caliber and bring them to a low hand size, and that could be enough. Then again, oh no, maybe I should have then prioritized getting rid of the barrel instead of the backs. Huh. Yeah, maybe I should have done that instead. Still, still on the cards, still on the cards, but just dead drawing, unfortunately. That's all. Either way, they KO the Bidoof. We're going to bring up the Pikachu, and again, just hope to find Raichu and Reversal. It's not that difficult, man. We have cards for it. The cards, we have 23 cards in deck. With an Iono, there's no way we don't. Let me check my deck. Oh, we only got the one Raichu, but we got, oh, one Ultra Ball. Oh, God, okay, the prizes haven't helped me here. All right, well, there you go. 
go. Typical, 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 eh? Right, let's put this on here just in case, because you never know. And I'm going to Iono. I'm going to Iono now. We should, in theory, get a reversal, but we just don't get anything else. That's what I was hoping wasn't the case. But alas, I'm going to have to TM Devo, which is what I was prepared for. So it is what it is. Let's move 20 off the Chen Pao onto here and just devolve. Hope they can't find an Arida. Still not great though, man. Still not great. Next turn, we should finally have the Raichu. And then we have to devolve again? Oh, God. I mean, look, still on the table. It's just, we're just getting a very bad draw. That is the mission. We didn't even get a Raichu off the prize. How many Ultra Balls actually have prize? Oh, I have one. I have one prize. Okay, so there's one Ultra Ball prize, one Raichu prize. That's the prize punishments. They instantly rare candy. Not even a question. We Iono them straight into it. And we now have to just hope that they don't realize that they just need to load up before I devolve. That's it. Then they win. There's a shivery chill. It will do nothing. Obviously, we know they're out of energy now. Oh, no, I lied. They had energy in hand already. I'm just annoyed. I haven't played. I haven't played. I don't even. I, I, in this in this game, I've hit one mischievous attack. That's it. Bro, we should be destroying this deck right now. But it's just, bro, it's the theme. The theme of today is it's just trash. They're going to bring up Alakazam of all things. You should probably instead have brought up the barrel because that's my way to actually win here. But as I say, we move. They go for the hail blade. They're not loading up ahead of time they're not uh, and they're not identifying how to deal with me right now and that's perfect for me it's just not perfect for my draw donnie needs to start drawing some cards man i need to start getting the good ones i should get them now at this rate right? eventually like just just by in theory it should effectively be good draw from now on no but well, let's puff in and i'll throw a mischievous down sure things i'm gonna i know i am i i should get it i should i should most definitely in fact i'm tempted to industrious incisors now because a lot of cards aren't thinnable so actually that's fine fine sure thing just give me a right shoot that's what i need man an ultra ball right shoot it's it's it should happen now right thank you there we go all right there it is finally we got there and now we need to just next turn dig for the tm devo which again i'm not too confident on but it is what it is my guy let's let's just keep it moving all right collateral bolts finally and then they oh, the things they could just load up that's the thing I'll have to bring up Greninja, maybe. I just think everything that could have gone wrong has, unfortunately. And also, look, whenever I say this, by the way, because I know there's a lot of people who sit there and think, you just misplayed, you should have done this, you should have done that. I'm saying it's gone wrong with that into account, okay? I, every time I say that from now on, because I don't want to add the preface every single time, I'm just going to clarify here and now. I know I'm a bad player. I know I misplay, and I said it in, a, in an outro before, I have ADHD, which means that the, my misplays are just kind of built in. I, I can't learn from them effectively because the issue is not a learning experience. It's literally my inability to kind of foresee at that level. Um, and also an attentive, it's an attentive disorder. So it's, it's a disorder with attention, meaning there's so many things happening on board that I will often and almost in every video, and you can agree with me on this, I'm pretty sure, miss a very small detail that could change the game and make me lose, right? Those are misplays. And as a result of what I have, that's going to happen. It's not something that can just be dealt with and cured. It's not like that. So it's basically like, a, here's one way to say it, right? And it's a bit of an extreme. Asking me to try and not miss a small detail in a game is like asking someone with depression to try and not be sad. That's the best way to put it, right? At least in that in that sense. Obviously, that's not comparable in terms of its emotional severity. But just in general, me paying attention whilst having ADHD and recognizing something that I should be paying attention to is akin to trying to be happy whilst having depression, right? It's just difficult. It's something we just are innately, we innately struggle with. So that's something that's going to happen all the time, right? So if you're bothered by my misplays, you're already in the wrong place, I'm afraid, because I will misplay and there's no going around it. <laughs> it just is what it is. I've come to terms with it and I'll always try and win and try and avoid misplays. I'm not giving up, but at the same time, I'm not going to try and you know, beat myself up for something I cannot control. But yeah, just want to kind of put that out there. Um, so whenever I do say from now on, things have gone wrong, things aren't going great. It is because of, you know, me and identifying some issues of luck and stuff like that. And just taking into account that I already know that I've misplayed. Either way, Donnie's got the hands ready to go. We need the TM Devolution literally now, mate. And we also need a Gust because they can still KO me afterwards um, with the Hailblade. So actually, what HP is the Raichu? What HP is Raichu? Uh, 130. Actually, they can't KO me with Hailblade. They can attach, but um, we, need, we need Devolution literally right now no way around it let me just thin out like crazy here and see what i can do mischievous there's a devolution there unfortunately no gust so we are gonna have to take a hit so we have to have oh but then no they could just hellblade me right yeah i think we lose the game here there's a devolution but the game is lost unfortunately yeah that sucks again fine fine margins missing key turns uh, and and that just destroys everything yeah look the two consistency cards are gone but they can just hit 120 it's gg man unfortunate but i'm i'm trying you know, I just think I'm not getting the good luck. This video is just a shame. Both games, very, very winnable. 
and we just didn't get things going our way today. Um, it's just a shame, as I said, right? Because I think we could have won both of those games if we just got some decent draws and some decent outs. And, you know, um, I, I honestly think we could have won both of them. And I think we should have won both of them, let alone could have. So a bit of a sad outcome. And unfortunately, I don't have time to right now because I'm preparing for EYC and stuff tomorrow. So I don't even have time to like get a few extra games in to try and actually, you know, get a game where we actually do have, you no know, odds not against us, out to kill us. You know, I, I want to have a bit of fairness you know but it just that's just a pdcgl in general so i i come come in terms of that now as well but either way i think this deck is very strong and still very good but <laughs> i just it just didn't show in today's video but it is what it is man and as as always i'm just going to show you what i get and this is what i got i still think it's really good i think this video does it a huge disservice i think you should really give it a go and you'll be surprised by how good it is but maybe instead of raichu go for alakazam because alakazam just does 50 across the board it doesn't need damage counters not alakazam sorry um electivire but i just want to take a look at the Raichu. It's a shame we couldn't really use it fully today. But yeah, what can I say, man? It, it, things out of my control resulted in today's video, and that's that. So either way, we'll see you tomorrow with another one where hopefully we actually get things going our way. And a huge thank you to the channel members for supporting the channel. If you want to become a member yourself, click the join button down below to see all the perks and all the tiers where you can get exclusive content and the like. But we'll leave it there. Thank you very much for the support, guys. See you later.